When I took on the project of restoring my 1980 Peugeot PB12, I knew exactly the look I wanted for this bike. And when it came to the saddle, more specifically, I knew that I wanted three things. I wanted a leather saddle, I wanted a saddle which looked vintage, a look that goes with the bike, and I also wanted a saddle that is comfortable enough so I could ride it with regular clothes without the need for padded shorts. And of course, I knew about Brooks' reputation from what I'd read before and what I'd heard before. I knew that in particular, they were supposed to be incredibly comfortable. So the Brooks B17 checked all the boxes for me and I decided to go with a Brooks B17 standard in honey brown for my saddle. So I've been riding this bike for now a little over eight months. So what do I really think? of the Brooks B17. Is it as comfortable as everybody say it is and would I recommend it? Let's tackle the pros of the Brooks B17. And right off the bat, let's tackle the elephant in the room. How comfortable is this saddle? Is it as comfortable as everybody says it is? And the answer to that is an absolute yes. This is an amazingly comfortable saddle. I personally would say it's the most comfortable saddle I have ever ridden. And not only is it very comfortable right off the bat, but it, the more you ride it, the more comfortable it gets because the leather softens and actually adapts to your anatomy. So on the comfort side, it is without hesitation that I give this saddle a five star. And you definitely do not need to have padded shorts. You can ride this saddle with just regular clothes, which is exactly what I wanted. Now, a second thing that I really like about this saddle, it has a quality look and feel, and that's always very nice. A third thing, is that you can buy from Brook collar-coordinated leather handlebar grip and the sidle bag. And that gives the whole bike a really nice touch and makes it come together. Lastly, I would say, but it's of course a question of personal preference, I personally like the look of the Brooks B17. I think it's a good-looking saddle. Now, on the con side, it's a heavy saddle. It weighs above a pound, but I personally couldn't care less. I didn't buy this saddle because I was looking to save weight or because I was wanted a performance bike. To me, the look and the comfort of it was most important. This bike altogether weighs 25 pounds. So to me, it really didn't make a difference and was totally irrelevant in my decision. The second thing that you have to be aware about this saddle. It is fragile and require maintenance. And that's inherent to the fact that it's made of leather. If you're gonna lean the bike, for example, against a hard surface or the bike fell over, you're gonna damage and you're gonna create some mark on, on the side here, which will not come out. And also you have to protect it from the rain because otherwise it will stain the leather permanently with watermarks. And some people will say that it has a bulky look. But again, that's purely a question of personal preference. I don't think so. I think it's a great looking saddle. When I compare the Brooks B17 that's on my Peugeot PB12 to the Cinelli Volare that's on my Colnago Arabesque, I would say that the Cinelli Volare is also a quality saddle. It's well made. It definitely has a quality look and feel as well, the same as the Brooks B17. It's not made of leather, so therefore it requires less maintenance and it is less fragile. It's also quite a bit lighter than the Brooks, but that's not too difficult because I think the Brooks is particularly heavy. It's also, I think, if you are looking for a saddle with the vintage look, they have absolutely nailed it with the Cinelli Volare, no question about it. But to me, the huge downside of the Cinelli Volare is the comfort. It is just an incredibly uncomfortable saddle, at least to me, maybe it is because it doesn't fit my anatomy. But I would say that this saddle is as uncomfortable 
as this saddle is comfortable. And to me, it's to the point where I do not enjoy riding this bike with the saddle and I'm going to replace it by a Cinelli B17 in black. Would I buy this saddle again if I could do it all over? Absolutely, without any hesitation. This saddle has met all my expectations. I believe it was the perfect choice for what I was trying to do and what I was looking for. Now, would I recommend this saddle? If you don't mind the extra weight and the fact that it is high maintenance and a bit more fragile than your average saddle because of the leather, then yes, this is a fantastic saddle. Thank you for watching and see you soon.